many in the Tulsa metro, your wallets could be greatly impacted by this storm. Oil and gas workers especially are watching the Gulf Coast. Two Works View reporter Tony Russell is live at the Tulsa airport with how the disaster there is impacting our businesses here. Well, the main connection is our oil and gas workers simply can't get down to Houston because those flights from Tulsa are canceled. And a lot of the Tulsa based companies that have those assets down on the Gulf Coast, they're waiting for those floodwaters to recede. Energy analysts say Houston and the Texas Gulf Coast is responsible for producing 30% of the country's gas, diesel and jet fuel. Hurricane Harvey and the historic rainfall have halted production at some refineries and stopped some pipelines from operating. The weather is also stopping some oil and gas workers who commute from Tulsa to Houston. Well, the number of Tulsans who have moved down to Houston or who commute back and forth on a daily or weekly basis is very high. Jake Dollarhide with Longbow Asset Management is monitoring historic flooding in Houston. He's also looking at the effects the flooding will have on the oil and gas industry. I just think lost productivity, uh, lost income uh, by individuals, employees, um, uh, companies is the real threat here. University of Tulsa professor Tom Singh believes it's too early to tell how much of an impact Hurricane Harvey's historic rainfall will have on the oil and gas market. The companies here in town definitely have hard assets on the ground, or it's just that we've had relationships because of the energy business um, history in Tulsa, and Houston is the, is the mecca these days. I guarantee you people have been on the phones probably since last Friday talking to their friends and counterparts in the business in Houston. And AAA says gas prices here in the Tulsa area have only jumped about a couple of cents. Meanwhile, those oil prices have fallen a little bit because some of those refineries are down. I did check with Williams. They said that they're still waiting for those floodwaters to go down before they can check on some of the assets, they call them, that are still in the Houston area. I also checked in with Magellan. We'll have their update inside this story at KJRH.com. Reporting live at the Tulsa International Airport, Tony Russell, two works for you.